Second part of the Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, is a democratic republic and a unitary state which is governed by a semi-presidential system, with a mixture of a presidential system and a parliamentary system. Sri Lanka, is the oldest democracy in Asia. Most provisions of the constitution can be amended by a two-thirds majority in parliament. The amendment of certain basic features such as the clauses on language, religion, and reference to Sri Lanka as a unitary state require both a two-thirds majority and approval in a nationwide referendum. In common with many democracies, the Sri Lankan government has three branches. Executive, Legislative, and Judicial. First branch, Executive. The President of Sri Lanka is the Head of State, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Head of Government, and is popularly elected for a five-year term. The President heads the Cabinet and appoints Ministers from elected Members of Parliament. The President is immune from legal proceedings while in office with respect to any acts done or omitted to be done by him or her in either an official or private capacity. Following passage of the 19th Amendment to the Constitution in 2015, the President has two terms, which previously stood at no term limit. Second Branch, Legislative. The Parliament of Sri Lanka is a unicameral 225-member legislature with 196 members elected in multi-seat constituencies and 29 elected by proportional representation. Members are elected by universal suffrage for a five-year term. The President may summon, suspend, or end a legislative session, and dissolve Parliament any time after four and a half years. The Parliament reserves the power to make all laws. The President's deputy, the Prime Minister, leads the ruling party in Parliament and shares many executive responsibilities, mainly in domestic affairs. Third Branch Judicial. Sri Lanka's judiciary consists of a Supreme Court, the highest and final superior court of record, a court of appeal, high courts and a number of subordinate courts. The highly complex legal system reflects diverse cultural influences. Criminal law is based almost entirely on British law. Basic civil law derives from Roman law and Dutch law. Laws pertaining to marriage, divorce, and inheritance are communal. The President appoints judges to the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeal, and the High Courts. A Judicial Service Commission, composed of the Chief Justice and two Supreme Court judges, appoints, transfers, and dismisses lower court judges. The current political culture in Sri Lanka is a contest between two rival coalitions led by the centre-left and progressive United People's Freedom Alliance, an offspring of Sri Lanka Freedom Party, and the comparatively right-wing and pro-capitalist, United National Party. Sri Lanka, is essentially a multi-party democracy with many smaller Buddhist, socialist and Tamil nationalist political parties. As of July 2011, the number of registered political parties in the country is 67. Of these, the Lanka Summer Samaja Party, LSSP, established in 1935, is the oldest. The UNP, established by D.S. Senonayak in 1946, was until recently the largest single political party. It is the only political group which had representation in all parliaments since independence. SLFP was founded by SWRD Bandaranaika in July 1951. SLFP registered its first victory in 1956, defeating the ruling UNP in 1956 parliamentary election. Following the parliamentary election in July 1960, C. Rimavo Bandaranaika became the Prime Minister and the world's first elected female head of government. Gigi Ponambolam, the Tamil nationalist counterpart of SWRD Bandaranaika, founded the All Ceylon Tamil Congress, ACTC, in 1944. Objecting to Ponambolam's cooperation with D.S. Senonayak, a dissident group led by SJV Chelvaniyakam broke away in 1949 and formed the Ilankai Tamil Asu Kakchi, also known as the Federal Party, 
becoming the main Tamil political party in Sri Lanka for next two decades. The federal party advocated a more aggressive stance toward the Sinhalese. With the constitutional reforms of 1972, the ACTC and ITAK created the Tamil United Front, later Tamil United Liberation Front. Following a period of turbulence as Tamil militants rose to power in the late 1970s, these Tamil political parties were succeeded in October 2001 by the Tamil National Alliance. Janatha Vimukti Paramanar, a Marxist-Leninist political party founded by Rihanna Wyjuira in 1965, serves as a third force in the current political context. It endorses leftist policies which are more radical than the traditionalist leftist politics of the LSSB and the Communist Party. Founded in 1981, the Sri Lanka Muslim Congress is the largest Muslim political party in Sri Lanka. For administrative purposes, Sri Lanka is divided into nine provinces and 25 districts. There have been provinces in Sri Lanka since the 19th century, but they had no legal status until 1987, when the 13th Amendment to the 1978 Constitution established provincial councils after several decades of increasing demand for a decentralization of the government. Each provincial council is an autonomous body not under the authority of any ministry. Some of its functions have been undertaken by central government ministries, departments, corporations and statutory authorities, but authority over land and police is not as a rule given to provincial councils. Between 1989 and 2006, the northern and eastern provinces were temporarily merged to form the northeast province. Prior to 1987, all administrative tasks for the provinces were handled by a district-based civil service which had been in place since colonial times. Now each province is administered by a directly elected provincial council. Each district is administered under a district secretariat. The districts are further subdivided into 256 divisional secretariats, and these to approximately 14,000 and 8 Brahma Niladari divisions. The districts are known in Singhala as Disa, and in Tamil as Mawadam. Originally, Adisa was a duchy, notably Marthale and Uva. There are three other types of local authorities. Municipal councils, urban councils and Prajya Sabha. Local authorities were originally based on feudal counties named Karal and Rata, and were formerly known as DRO divisions after the divisional revenue officer. Later the DROS became assistant government agents, and the divisions were known as AGA divisions. These divisional secretariats are currently administered by a divisional secretary. The end of part 2. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.